Senator Penn. Thank you, Madam President. Senators, uh, speaking without reference to the file, um, as many of you know uh, or may have heard, yesterday I was physically assaulted uh, as I was walking from the Capitol to uh, an event. And I also want to uh, take this opportunity to thank the pro tem and the minority leader and many of you here who have uh, expressed your both personal and public support uh, for me and the condemnation of the assault on me yesterday. Certainly, it's only through civil debate that we can make good policy for the health and safety of the people of California. However, I need to make note that uh, yesterday's assault is not simply the act of a lone extremist. This is the expected outcome of threatening and violent rhetoric by the anti-vaccine movement. Mm -hmm. My assailant was proud of his violent attack. In fact, he posted it on Facebook uh, for his own benefit uh, to the adulation of many of his followers. And as a victim of this assault, I did ask Facebook yesterday to take it down, but they have refused. It's not violent enough. Facebook is deliberately giving a platform to his violence and perhaps inciting another person to, to do the same, maybe one up the ante. But we also need to think about why, why my assailant felt justified to physically attack me yesterday. And I think we have to think about the, uh, the fact that the opponents of my bill, SB 276, have repeatedly used and condoned violent rhetoric and imagery justifying by faux victimhood. Many of you and your offices, your staff, have experienced some of this already, uh, both of those of you who are here for SB 277 and uh, also when SB 276 came through this chamber. In fact, in 277, we've had some members who would actually even have to close their district offices because of the nature of the threats to their staff. More recently, RFK Jr., who opposes the bill, came to the Capitol, called vaccines a holocaust previously, compared my bill to the Jews being put in the ghettos during World War II. While in the meantime, the anti-vaxxers post memes of me as Hitler and Dr. Mengele, and you wonder why, you wonder why someone would be incited to commit violence. They rallied in front of our building here, and what did they have before them in the rally? A picture, a poster with a drawing of my face splattered with what appeared to be blood. And then they walked into the hearing room in the assembly chambers, assembly hearing, health hearing room, wearing t-shirts with the same image. And you wonder, why someone decides to actually carry out an assault. They mailed bricks to the assembly members. And in fact, uh, they're gonna have a rally on August 28th, and uh, I don't know exactly what they're gonna do, but I've heard that they are gonna be coming in wearing Guy Fox masks. Now, for those of you who don't know history, Guy Fox was a man who threatened a terrorist attack on a legislative body, the parliament. So think about it, they wanna come to our state capital, the state capital of California, where we meet here in our chambers, uh, dressed up as someone who wishes to commit a terrorist attack on a legislature, a legislative body. This is not acceptable. And I think that's really what I'm here to say. Because it's not merely the one actor, the one person who assailed me yesterday that we need to talk about. It's this broader, acceptance or tolerance of this kind of violent rhetoric, one that's given a platform by social media, others, this needs to stop. It's no surprise that there was a physical assault and who knows what the next one will be, but this does need to stop. And I do want to thank uh, all of you and many of you have spoken out and said, we need to talk about civility. We have differences. And we need to debate those differences. And you know, we may, we're not all gonna agree, but we can do it civilly, we can do it passionately, but we don't need to threaten, bully, and, and, uh, and basically commit, you know, suggest violence and have someone, and hope someone carries that out. And so with that, I wanna thank all of you for your support, uh, and I think as we move together, we are gonna work together for a better California. But we also, I hope we can call on people jointly together to say, no more. This kind of rhetoric needs to stop. 
you know, make your arguments, but don't threaten, don't bully, no violence. Thank you.